All right, guys, back at Drag Boss Garage. Welcome back. So now I don't know how long it's been, but it's probably been about a month or more since I originally marked this plate, and now I'm getting to pound a drill in it. So I'm going to center punch it now. It's just that life happens, and I get things done I can. You'll probably be seeing videos from Mrs. Drag Boss. She's been doing some videos on her own, which is kind of cool, because you're seeing a different kind of angle on things. Not just me standing with a camera like this stationary. So I think it's kind of cool. So I had marked these out in relationship to where the holes are. So I asked people before about how to mark it and drill it out and get it centered. A lot of people gave me replies. Some people said, don't waste your time. It's not that important. So I tried to do what I thought was the best way. And you can kind of see here. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but... Basically, that looks centered there, and then this one here is centered. And that hole is about 7 eighths, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to look nice, so that's how I came about getting this circle. So basically, I'll just guess where the center is. I'm pretty good at looking at things and saying, hey, that's where it needs to go. I say it's good. Looks pretty good. So we're going to drill a hole in it with my drill press. I don't think it's going to go too crazy. And I got this towel on here, but I put my finger through the hole so when the drill bit goes through, it won't catch the towel and spin it all around. So. So I got that drilled, then I'll use this step drill. It should work out pretty well. So I just want to make sure that that works secure. That's not going to fly all over the place. But it's low speed and it's a sharp drill bit. The trick is not to push hard. It'll do the work for you. And so there's seven eighths. So let's mark this with a marker so I know where it is. People don't tighten the chuck in all three places, and that's why they end up getting loose. So, let's see. that I'm going to finish with a hand with a little die grinder. I don't want to scratch it up any more than it already is. But once it's in the engine part, you can't see it.
There you go. Probably can't see it. It's not perfect on the one, but you know what? You ain't gonna notice it once I use a die grinder, drill a tool and clean it up. It'll be fine. So just kind of cleaning this up. Well, there it is. Looks pretty good. Nice and smooth. Like I said before, good enough for government work. Let's get it rolling. So finally making headway here with a 409. I finally got all the bolts situated. I like the gold cadmium plated bolts like this. But I wanted to have the built-in shoulder, not a washer in there, so I had to get the special order of those. And I got the gasket for the motor plate or the water pump. Remember, since I have the water pump, which I don't have here, it's a Mazir, so it's kind of like a small block Chevy, how it bolts on just to these bolts here. But I wanted to get this on. I always use weather strip adhesive on this. Never have any issues. Stuff's messy, though. You got to pay attention to it. So... You don't need much, because I'll tell you, the stuff sticks like you can't talk about. So I try not to make a mess out of it, and then I'll put it on there to dry, because it's almost time for the kids to get off the bus, so i got to meet them. But it's been all day on the phone with some people. Talked to a guy named Michael Keener, who was with Keener and McCure. And you kind of want to fit it there, tack it down. Ultra gray, I don't know, I like to use this. It seems to work pretty well. And really, it doesn't really matter except for right around here. Main thing is where the water pump seals, where the motor plate will be. So I'll get this motor plate, let's get this on. You can see that, thanks Todd Fuchs for this. And the motor plate has little dowel pins that it sits on, so we're good with that. But yeah, that's what I was talking about, these gold cadmium blade, uh, bolts. This damn engine's been sitting here way too long. Should have had this done a long time ago, but things get done when they get done. Yeah, well, that'll be fine. And like I said, I like to tighten this stuff kind of in a cross the batter pattern. So it kind of sits flush. But it looks pretty damn good, boys. And I got four minutes to spare before I have to get the kids off the bus, so we're doing damn good. I fixed this inside. I cut the, this back, repaired this wire, and then just taped it up to protect it. 
because I'm not going to mess around with it any further. But I had it wire tied up here, and that's what it needs to be. That's it. It's on there. Looks good. So stay tuned. Next, I got to glue the exhaust gaskets to the headers. I like to do it that way. Then when I put them up out of the car, I never have to worry about the gaskets moving around, and I don't like using the uh, orange silicone. So stay tuned. Hi guys, Mrs. Drag Boss here. Stay tuned for my next video.